Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to talk about the upcoming 1,000 year event occurring on November 19th of 2021. The last time an event like this occurred was when Machu Picchu was being built in the top of the Andes Mountains. We're going to come back and take a closer look at that here in a moment. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent out from all around the world. Earthquake worth mentioning that occurred this morning, a large 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake earthquake coming in at 6.2 miles deep in the southern Japan area created a tsunami alert and from what I've heard there was no tsunami in the area but look for more large earthquakes in the coming days hopping over to the website you'll see a new banner over here on the left hand side the 2022 sky phenomena photo calendars have arrived all you gotta do is click on this banner here anywhere on the banner it will take you here where you can order either your your large or extra large sky phenomena photo calendar for 2022 and there's also some merch down at the bottom of the page if you're interested in that find the link down below in the description box since we're here at the website quick look at the the schumann residence you can see there's been a little bit of activity in the last six hours small spikes in the schumann residence right now the origins are unknown hopping over to the yellowstone supervolcano caldera looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano you can see some earthquake activity at grant village that was a long duration event not necessarily a large earthquake but a long duration event and you can see some smaller ones in the area other than that nothing major going on a little bit of magma intrusion which we see now pretty much on a on a daily basis but nothing major going on at the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera I want to take you guys now over to the thousand year celestial event that is about to occur here on the 19th of 2021 in fact you can see the countdown over here at timeanddate.com talks about a once in a thousand year eclipse and the last time this occurred Makapishu was being built on top of the Andes Mountains and when I look at this area and I've looked at it before many times I ask myself and I'm sure you guys do you have the same questions how did this happen over 500 years ago at an elevation of nearly 8,000 feet how did that happen I mean, this is a humongous fortress up here built on the peak of a mountain. I mean, the people that did this had to have resources. You know what I mean? They had to have food, water, clothing, shelter. And then how did they get the resources up there to construct this huge fortress? I mean, it's just incredible. It's just another one of these marbles like the pyramids. You look back and then you look at today's world. Some of these things would be hard to replicate in today's world with modern equipment. You just ask yourself, how did they do it? But nevertheless, they saw an eclipse back when they were building this structure over 500 years ago. And the eclipse, like the one we're about to see on November 19th, is an unusually long eclipse. The overall duration of the November 2021 eclipse from the moment the moon enters the Earth's shadow from the time it leaves is gonna be six hours and two minutes, which is quite rare for any eclipse, whether it's a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse. And the visibility of this eclipse is gonna cover a wide area because of its long duration. Here's a map of visibility extending from Eastern India all the way across the Pacific, across the Atlantic over to Western Africa and Western Europe, and of course, everywhere in between. And once again, this is going to occur late on the 18th or on the 19th. It just depends on your time zone. I'm going to be up trying to check it out, and that is, of course, if weather is permitting. If it's not cloudy in your area, you'll be able to see what they saw when they were building Machu Picchu, the big fortress on top of the Andes Mountains. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. First segment is a video clip sent in by Mary Hall who noticed some lightning in some super tall clouds above the Earth visible from the International Space Station. Good job, Mary photo here sent in by Japana M out of Gold River, California. Very intense, double-decker rainbow. These photos here you're about to see, there are four different photos that were sent in by Geraldine M, taken by Clyde and Ashley, of something in the sky up in Canada. This photo was taken recently. I'm not sure the exact date, but I, I know it was within the last couple of weeks. You're going to see what looks like a outline of what appears to be somebody up in the sky with their arms up in the air. That is a super weird cloud 
have once again I've not done anything to these photos this is how they were when they sent them to me and I'm simply passing them along to you guys very unusual photo coming out of Canada photo here by Heidi M out of Cave Junction Oregon just a unique look at the Sun as it's sitting visible from Oregon this one here is just simply inverted light is dark and dark is light this is a video clip of what appear to be Chinese lanterns off in the distance video sent in by Nicole M from November the 5th but the only thing here with what we're seeing is there's a couple of these orbs they look like white orbs from a distance are going in the opposite direction Usually when you see an armada of Chinese lanterns, they're all typically moving in the same direction because they're influenced by the wind. But you've got two here going in a different direction. have no idea why or what we've got going on here. I'm assuming that these are Chinese lanterns, but who knows? They, they could have been something far more mysterious. This next video was sent in by Loretta W. of an independent orange object soaring through the sky, and it appears to be tumbling from her field of view. I'm not exactly sure where she's at, but you can see there's a bright orange object. Looks like a fireball without a tail moving through the sky above her home. And you're gonna see it disappear over the roof line of her house here in just a moment. And that was one of two. She saw two that were identical that went over her location within about 15 minutes. And you can see it disappears here over the roof line of her house. Great observation. Video here sent in by Mike N out of Buffalo, New York of yet another multicolored object rotating in the nighttime sky. Look at that, multiple colors, blue, green, light pink, light purple, visible from Buffalo, New York. Been seeing a lot of these lately. Not sure of their origins, but I know many people are seeing these multiple colored objects in the nighttime sky. And once again, don't forget to check out the rare eclipse coming up on the 19th, uh, a one in a thousand year event. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. Don't forget to order your 2022 Sky Phenomena photo calendar. Once again, by clicking on this banner here on the homepage of the website. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.